Good evening, and on behalf of Superintendent Mr. Robert Copeland, the members of the Board of School Directors, and our esteemed faculty members, I would like to thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Scott Weinstein. I'm proud to be the principal of Harrod High School and represent our staff and students this evening. I would like to start by welcoming back our distinguished Harrodton alumni and thank them for joining us tonight. I'm pleased to share that we have the most alumni that we've ever had participating in the commencement. Our alumni present include the following. From the class of 1969, our president of the Lower Moraine Harrington Alumni Association, Joni Rashblum. Also from the class of 1969, Tom Washington. 1967, Nancy Shills. 1975, Biff Sterla. 1980, Anna Levitt. 1981, Bruce Hertzfeld. 1982, Richard Winnick. 1983, Robert Stein, Craig Mesro, Edward Bluestein, Lloyd Gross. 1984, Julie Frizzell Mesro, 1985, Randy Grimes and Michael Pearlstein, 1986, Jennifer Butler and Nicole Dresden Schaefer, 1987, Jamie Shapiro Stein, Janet Gorberg Dickman, Paul McElhaney, 1988, Allison Silverman, 1989, Ben Milrod, 1994, our very own Dan Imaizumi, 2000, Maddie Weiner, class of 2002, Sharia Hopkins, Charnay Hopkins, Tarika Bright. 2004, Kathleen Aliero. 2007, Alexandra Sayre. 2008, Nathaniel Denny. 2011, Lawrence Ross. 2013, Joshua Ross. 2014, Sashi Diagone. 2015, Samantha Eisner. 2016, Andrew Grimes, Jake Stein, and Aaron Dickman. 2017, Callie Eisner. Also from 2017, Richard Sayre, AKA Ricky Reports. 2018, Elijah Bluestein. <laughs> Alumni, we appreciate your love and pride for Harry and are thankful that you can join us this evening. Class of 2019, what a special class. I get the honor of being able to address you tonight but know that the admiration I share is on behalf of our Harrington staff, many of them sitting amongst you tonight. Throughout the years, we had the opportunity to celebrate you on various occasions, from the national merit recognitions, the athletic accomplishments, the amazing performances coming from the Harrington Theater Company, Dr. Harrington, the impressive art created by our artists, the beautiful music played by our musicians, our incredible academic teams in Latin, TSA, the FBLA, Science Olympiad, etc and our many service organizations that do amazing work. As proud as we are for all of those impressive accomplishments, we, we are equally proud, as proud of those that were fighting battles that we knew very little or nothing about. Personal hardships, loss, setbacks, and adversity that came in many forms. It is not only the most accomplished we honor tonight, but the many of you who reached this milestone in various ways. The New York Times just published an opinion piece last week and celebrated, and I quote, the student who does all the homework in his hardest subject and turns it in promptly, who studies diligently for tests and shows up at every help session, who has never once read an online summary instead of the actual book, and who nevertheless manages to earn a C. You have already aced the real tests. For the rest of your life, you will never again take a C, but you'll bring your character and your capacity for hard work to all your future endeavors." End quote. Your resilience of getting, uh, uh, your, I'm sorry, I lost myself. Your resilience of getting past hurdles along the way and become increasingly important to the next part of your life. This phase will include, include increased independence. I recently learned a strategy from our girls lacrosse team, who, who by the way, are having an amazing year. I share that in the present tense because their year is not complete since this Saturday at 12 o'clock p.m. at Westchester East High School, They'll be competing for the PIAA State Championship in Rose Cross. Please join us. Back to the strategy I learned. When they have an obstacle on their team or a setback, they will say next play. The term next play is a mantra to help the players refocus and move forward after adversity. Let me back up for a second and let you know how I learned this. 
Our 12th grade English teachers decided this year to make their final writing assignment a commencement speech. I asked our senior teachers to please share some samples of the students' work. You see, the commencement speech, the speech I'm delivering right now, is one of the more challenging speeches to craft, so I figured I would just plagiarize mine. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? We spent four years telling you not to plagiarize, and here I am doing that in your last official event, Parity. I'm, I'm actually just kidding. It's my pleasure to cite my references tonight and give credit where the credit is due to our seniors. Next play comes from Emily Stewart. In her speech, she shared, next play is a motto on our team that helps us refocus after something that does not go our way, whether it's a turnover, a missed shot, or a bad call by the ref. It may seem like a silly little phrase that can only be used while in a sports game, but I've come to learn that it's applicable in all other aspects of life. I think that is a wonderful strategy, Emily. I have a story to share with you where I think this strategy would help. My nephew was in college this year. From his K-12 schooling, he never had a B in any class. K-12, never got a B. Ever. In college, he becomes a political science major, as he always wanted to. In his first political science course, his grade was going to be comprised of the average of three papers he will submit. He submits his first paper and gets back an 86. How does he respond? The student had an A in every course at every level. Well, he immediately calls home and shares the news. Dad, I have to change my major. <laughs> I didn't do that for the last. It's honestly a true story. <laughs> what? Change your major? It was the first bit of grade university, and you know what Emily Stewart would have told my nephew? Next play, Tommy. Justin Nachman shared a funny anecdote in speech. Saying I was scared of my first day of high school is an understatement. I was terrified. I remember my first Spanish class, sitting in the back by myself and watching the older kids socialize. When the teacher got up to take attendance, he said, welcome to AP Statistics. <laughs> Instantly, my heart dropped. I looked back at my schedule and saw that I had gone to the wrong room. I was too embarrassed to stand up and leave, so I sat through the entire class. <laughs> Carly Siciliano said, all the way back in freshman year, we all thought high school was going to be the longest four years of our lives. There was no possible way that we were going to get to be leaving anytime soon. Yet we are here. Leo Wackerman had a similar remark when he shared, walking into Harrington freshman year for the first time, I never imagined a day we would all walk out for the last time. It just felt so far away. Carly and Leo, it's here. Gabby Mazzoni shared that, People always say that uniqueness and creativity are the keys to success. They will tell you that today, as all 300 plus of you sit here in identical cap and gown ensembles. <laughs> but in all seriousness, individuality is one of the most important components in the hunt for success. So as Ellen DeGeneres once said, never follow anyone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means you should follow that one. <laughs> Jeremiah Blair shared, it is our turn to become our own person in society, to make a difference in this world, to begin our new lives and to succeed. Class of 2019, it is finally our turn. You're right, Jeremiah, it is your turn. John Levitt, I think you have it figured out when you said, be positive, appreciate all that you can, and smile. Life is waiting for you to live it. Let me end with my own words. Finally, these are mine, I promise you that include a challenge and a statement. I ask that wherever you go from here, you make it a better place than you found it, as you did with Harrington High School. Class of 2019, I share with you on behalf of our faculty and staff, we are so proud of you, and we sincerely <coughs> wish you the best as you go forth to serve. And when there is adversity, as is predictable, just remember, next play. Thank you.